At first, his death aroused little interest. Later, it was to become one of Australia's most baffling cases. There were two questions. Who was he and how did he die? On December 1st, 1948, a body of an unknown man was found on Somerton Beach in Adelaide. Inside his clothes was a small rolled up piece of paper, which read, Tamam Shud, Farsi for It is Ended or Finished. This led to wild theories such as him being a Russian spy, poisoned and left for dead. I'd say he was just a victim of the Cold War and the espionage battle, which in the military intelligence field was at its peak in 1948. The identity of the Somerton man has remained one of Australia's greatest mysteries for almost 75 years, but now that mystery may have been solved. Researchers have identified the man as Carl Charles Webb from Melbourne. Mr. Webb was born in 1905 and is said to have worked as an electrical engineer who disappeared after leaving his wife in April 1947. As of the present day, there has been no death record for Mr. Webb. In 2021, the remains of the Somerton man body were exhumed in a fresh bid to crack the case. A team of Australian and American forensic researchers used hairs taken from a plastered death mask to analyze his DNA, which was used to build a family tree via genealogical DNA databases. When you have genetic genealogy, you wind up having a list of DNA cousins who are related to Mr. X, and you have to figure out who they are, how they related to each other. And we were fortunate enough to get a young man who matched close enough that we could build his family tree. And we came across his great great grandfather was named Thomas Keene. And that was very exciting because the Summerton man was found with several items with mm. the name T. Keene stenciled on them. But it turned out T. Keene was married to the Summerton man's sister. Despite the breakthrough, the new evidence raises more questions than answers. The mystery persists surrounding how and why Mr. Webb ended up dead on Somerton Beach.